the experiments with Terra have shown that evolution works quite well in the medium of the digital computer. We can evolve computer programs. And we've thought about the possibility of evolving enormously complex programs, parallel programs, just as evolution was able to produce tremendous beauty and complexity in the natural world. We'd like to do this in the digital world with the idea that we might be able to design very powerful computer programs that could do things that take our computers way beyond what we're able to do with them today. Many people want to know how can we guide evolution to produce these programs. And I take the rather radical view that it's best to keep our hands off completely and let evolution by natural selection find its own solutions and its own problems. Because really we can't possibly imagine what might be out there. Try to imagine taking yourself back to the beginning of the Cambrian explosion before we had the complex organisms that we know today and suppose that you had no experience with life. Do you think you could imagine the trees and the cows and the corn and the humans that would evolve from that if you'd never had any experience of it? I think we're in the same position with respect to the evolution of digital organisms, that there are things out there that we could not possibly imagine today. And even if we could imagine them and had a complete description of them, we could never guide evolution to get us to that point. But we know that evolution can find beautiful, complex creatures when left completely to itself.